Hello YouTube, Evasive8 here again at our Survival 101. Um, yeah, this time I plan on uh, getting a tree farm up and going so I won't run out of uh, wood like I did last time. Um, so, what we're going to do is clear out an area real quick to make a farm. <clears throat> right, I'm going to need some iron real quick so I can make a bucket. I'm going to need some water, any kind of material um, to use as a uh, base of it, I guess. I like mine a little elevated so that um, nothing can get in the way. <clears throat> Let's go make a uh, some shovels. Oh yeah, I, I found a good looking texture pack. It's very medieval looking. Uh, it's called uh, AD... Uh, what was it? AD Reforged? I do believe. Yeah, AD Reforged. And uh, I'm, I'm really liking how it looks. So I plan on using it, unless you guys can think of a better one for me. Um, just let me know in the comments below, okay? And I will check them out. Maybe we'll do some texture pack uh, reviews. That'd be cool. Has <clears throat> the new ones come out for 1.8, 1.9? Yeah, that actually sounds fun. Uh, Anyways, you, you're going to want to clear an area that is at least minimum of a 5x5 five five square. Uh, this will help for building the uh, base of it. And I'm going to make it so that I can implement a hopper if you want later to collect the saplings and seeds. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, it's going to take a lot of clearing real quick. And this tree farm, I use it for everything. Well, not everyone. I use it for uh, jungle trees, uh, mega jungle trees, spruce, mega spruce, birch, and oak, and dark oak. So it's pretty universal. It, it, it gets everything except maybe the... Uh, uh, what is it called? The the trees that grow in the savannas, they're they kind of grow a little weird compared to the rest of the trees. But uh, all right, I think I got enough supplies now and a good enough area cleared of the dirt, anyways. So we can start making the foundation for the the farm. Uh, we're gonna want to get these trees out of here. Of course, I know it's kind of redundant, but we gotta get them out. We gotta clear the area. We need somewhere to build. Uh, yeah, I usually have about two, maybe three of these farms up and going. Um, you could do four, one for each kind of tree can grow, but. Uh, Get them out of my way. But it, it doesn't really matter. I mean, it's up to you. you. You could just cut down what you need of the one type and then plant different kind every time. Uh, but, you know, I always thought that would be a, just a waste of time when you could have all four growing at once. So, I'm going to show one on camera how to build one. And then I'm going to modify it and make it so I can have all four types that I grow in it off camera so that I don't waste your guys' time showing you how to build the same thing over and over again. And once you see the first time, it's exactly the same every time. Um, Alright, this looks good enough. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pick a spot 
right about here. And then you're going to want to go up one and make a little T thing here. And then on the outside of this, you're going to want to make a border. Um, this will make the middle a 3x3 uh, three three area, which is perfect for what you need. Um, we're going to break that for now. Get rid of this middle area. <clears throat> Alright. And then uh, in the center here, you're going to break a hole. That's where all the saplings will gather uh, once we're done. Ooh, I looked like I was wrong about the dimensions. I like to have it three blocks away from this one. That way the water channels, when you put them down, they'll be able to catch just about every sapling. Um, pretty efficiently. Alright, and just so I know what's what, I'm going to carve out with a uh, get all this dirt out of here and then we're going to put a uh, cobblestone border around it and a wall one high wall so that it's forces the uh, water inwards and doesn't make a mess everywhere Yeah, I hope you guys are liking this. I mean, I'll give you tutorials on how to build simple creations from this tree farm we're building to houses to anything really. Uh, from mob traps, mob grinders, automated farms. You know, just what I think you guys need to definitely would like to have in your world. Because, you know, that's, that's what I like in my world. It helps having all this stuff around, and I think it's very beneficial. Now, I think we're going to make a birch door for this. I, I don't know what they look like in this texture packet. Alright. Oh, it's not textured. That sucks. But it is a work in progress texture pack, so... trap this cow real quick so we can have some uh, <clears throat> cow near by to use maybe I'll be able to find another one in a little bit um, let's sleep before we get attacked by any mobs all right now let's get back to work my apple yum 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 Apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? Get some mutton cooking. Ooh, my iron's done. I can make that uh, bucket I need. Alright, let's store that. Store everything we don't currently need for what we're building. Alright, so we're going to need cobblestone for the walls. Um, mm, saplings to plant the bucket for the water <coughs> maybe some dirt to do some more leveling axe, big axe I already have alright that should do it uh, we're going to gather some water oh I need to make another uh, shovel. Four of them should do. I, I go through shovels really quick. And it's kind of a pain, but it, it's better than just hitting it with your fist. Alright, so we are going to clear all of this out now. And then replace it all with cobblestone. 
And then we'll go from there. Um, we're going to leave the middle so I know where it is. Alright. Now let's test it. Because I want the water to go right to the center every time. So as you can see, it doesn't. So what I'm going to have to do is drop down one level where these... I like to do it on these spots. Every spot that it hits. So starting here, go diagonal until you hit the wall. Uh, it just puts the water right where we need it every time. No delays. <clears throat> And you can do the same thing on all the corners. And of course, this will happen sometimes. And what all you gotta do to fix the water flow is put a block right here, and that will usually fix it. All right. In this case, I had to put two, um, and that should. Why is that there? That is a weird water flow. I don't know why it did that. That's weird. Fill that back in. There we go. No, I think I'll make this a little bit bigger because it's going to be easier if we have it all eight blocks away. So from here I'll make it seven blocks this way. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now that should hit and drop. Perfect. And of course we're just going to bring this side over. This is going to make our water patterns look a little bit neater. <clears throat> Which is kind of what you want when you're making a uh, tree farm because then the, the saplings won't get stuck that often. And you'll be able to collect everything very efficiently. Which is what you want. Okay. Alright, we're going to make sure this is out 7-2. I think it was right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to have to redefine the middle, which is fine. Uh, it's pretty easy to find the middle. I mean, the water is going to be directing it there anyways. So we'll just use the water to find the middle and then we'll remake our little lip there for the uh, saplings to go on. I, I am so sorry guys about my voice and being sick lately. I would have been able to upload a lot more videos but uh, you know, you get sick sometimes. You have to take time for yourself and rest up. And it just benefits everyone with me being able to rest. Uh, I know my employer doesn't like it when we call in, but you know, 
That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do. It is definitely better to get healthier than have you going and spreading germs everywhere and getting everyone sick. I don't see how people can do that. It's just not right to me. Um, what? I need to go back one more. <clears throat> Alright, that should do it. There we go. Perfect. Now we'll get this. It's going to end up being a diamond now, which is perfect. Um, things tend to flow better when all the water is forced into one single spot. And then, of course, like I said, we got to go down one level, which is fine. Um, I mean, I'm going to dig it down even further because I'm going to put hoppers in. Well, a hopper to collect the saplings. Um, all right. Okay. Just about ready to find the middle. Uh, it should be right around here somewhere. I think it's right there. Um, not too sure. We'll find out though. Real quick. Alright, so all you gotta do to find the middle now is put a bucket here. And bam. And I think. I think I might have been right. Possibly. Let's go get another bucket and get it from this way and we will see. Ooh, looks like I was pretty pretty close. One more. Oh, I'm very close. I do believe I was right on for that middle. Alright, see? See how the items are floating down to the middle? Right there. Now that we know where that is. I like to make a bridge on one side. It makes it easier to get up and out. But um, right now we should be going to bed soon. And I need some real food. And then I'm going to pick up all the water buckets. And I'm going to make another water bucket, I mean. Then I'm going to go pick up all the water. And we're going to... Uh, replace everything with cobblestone underneath so that I can have a good decent uh, location that way I don't really have to worry about much happening make an infinite water supply real quick Bam. Pick this all up. Alright. Now we can start the replacement. Alright. I'm going to do all the tips first because then I know where to stop. Just like that. Okay. And later on, you could even put dispensers in this to make it 
auto on and off when you're ready to collect stuff. So maybe you could even make a uh, make it into a flower or die collection thing too. If you leave this just like this, and then you use bone meal on this spot, and it'll grow grass and seeds and flowers. I think I will do that actually. That that's a good idea. Um, and I'll implement uh, dispensers into the corners. Two at each corner should get all. Well, no, just one should be needed. Right there. Get it all. And right there is the center. Okay. So I do want a border around the top. But since I am doing the uh, thing in the middle there with bone meal, I will only need to make sure that the grass spreads over to this area, the that area right there. I'll make sure there's at least one grass block in that area, otherwise the grass won't spread. If it's too far away anyways. Um, I don't know why I'm not using my shovel. <laughs> so much faster. Alright, now that we got this done, um, I think it looks good the way it is now. I'm going to put this here because it looks like I'm running on the cobblestone. Alright, almost to the corner. And we're at the corner. Okay, so we got grass on all of it. So I can just go ahead and fill this all in. Whoops. I have a whole nother stack. Alright, good. Alright. Now that we got that done. Alright, now you gotta put that border back around. Easiest way is to pillar up from the middle and then uh, hold shift and you crouch on the edge until you get to where you need to be. Alright, so this is one, one away from the middle. And then it's three wide. And then you put an additional block here and then over. And then you go three wide again, one additional block, over three, one additional block, and over three. Alright, that way you have a perfect 5x5 five five area. And there must be a sapling in here somewhere, not a sapling, a log. Oh, <laughs> there's two trees right here let's get these out of the way so we can continue our build all right all right it's starting to look good down here so I got all of the stuff I need um, we're going to need to build a bridge over to it because unfortunately there's no space right now for a uh, a spot to um, use as a uh, for a ladder. Um, I always implement that later but right now we're not really worried about it 
but I will get it done off camera and I'll show you guys how, how I did it. Um, and one of the other four, three, I mean. <clears throat> oh, I need the torches. Do I have any torches? Yeah, I have 21. Okay. Let's go finish this up. Alright, first you're going to want to make a bridge. Um, what I like to do is go like this, one over. <clears throat> there we go. And then, of course, we continue that over to the <coughs> where you're going to be planting the trees. But as you, you can already tell, that this this little spot here is going to catch saplings too, which isn't idea for for this, but you know it happens. All right, so I think I'm going to implement the ladders now because it would be easier just to do it now. That way if we ever get trapped down here we can just get out quickly. You don't have to put all four, I just like being symmetrical. And you have to leave the gap at the bottom otherwise the water can't get through properly. So now in theory, if you want, you don't really need this bridge, but I don't know, I like the look of it. It's just not effective. So we're going to remove it now that we got a uh, ladder system implemented. <coughs> Man, excuse me. Sorry about the coughs, guys. It is bad. Alright, so now I need to explain a few things. Um, how every other tree in this game works. You're going to want to add these corners. This is for the bigger trees like the jungle and the mega spruce. In order for them to grow on, they need to be this big. And they need to be three blocks away, which helps them grow. Um, Additionally, uh, single spruce needs to be three blocks away from each other. So does birch. Um, oak is the only tree that you can stack next to each other <coughs> in a straight line. So oak can go like that all the way around this. And every single spot on here can be oak. Um, birch, which we have right here. You can only do corners, like this. Um, that's the only spots they will grow. Kind of sucks, but hey, it doesn't really matter if you get what you need, right? I mean, pretty much you're going to get infinite saplings, so you'll be able to replant all the time. Um... You just gotta wait for the saplings. And of course, you're gonna wanna light this area up because mobs are gonna spawn like crazy. And you're gonna wanna put some torches down over here. I like to do the middles and the corners. It usually works fairly well to keep the mobs away. Um, but you know, sometimes they wander in. If they fall down in the middle, you be be very careful until you get your hopper system that will tumble under to collect the saplings because you know they'll get stuck in the middle right in the middle or on one of these poles and you know if it's a creeper oh boy they'll blow you up <laughs> quicker than you can say uh, jumping to who's a fats but uh <coughs> You know, it's just, you just need to have a plan for it when it happens, because it will happen eventually, and there's nothing you can really do about it. Once it happens, it happens. And we're pretty much done with our tree farm. We just need to fill in the water now, and it's good to go. 
Uh, as you can see, uh, one of the trees has already grown, which is pretty good. So we're going to do this. We're going to fill back up. Alright, put them in the corners here. me now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go make a half a pressure plate and we're gonna put that right in that center spot and that will stop the water there so that if anything does get caught down here including saplings you can just get it easy no problem as you can see, that is how you do the tree farm. Uh, that's <coughs> hey, sorry about that, guys. But this is all we have time for in this episode. Thank you guys for watching again. Hit the like button at the bottom if you like in what you're seeing. Um, please subscribe, and I hope you guys have a good day.